Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. Okay, looks like you're going to back this in, thing back in here further. Oh, okay. well, I thought he was going to hit another car, but... <laughs> I can't tell if he's going into a side track. It looks to me. Yeah, that's the other train coming from way down there yet. Not talking about this one, there's another one coming. Maybe a real grande there. That's a different. Nah, it's not. Seven thousand twenty-two and seven thousand two. In fact, we got him the prior shot, though. By the way, this is another day that we're continuing on on the episode. <laughs> them diesel motors just love them okay and here's the other one coming up here down there this might be 01 uh, can't be 100% sure Needs a little bit of muffler work there, but <laughs> this is 7010. Okay, here comes the gates again. I got to sit right there uh, because since we have the number one main over here with cars occupied over there next to that local so I don't think he's gonna come too much further maybe there sure as heck ain't enough room <laughs> I think he quoted he's like 700 foot long or something that might be an honest uh, suspect of that So, more likely he's going to have a standby. And they're over here deciding what's going on. Alright, we'll be right back when something happens. So, more to come.
Okay, looks like 7002 over here is about ready to depart, so here he comes. Too bad a track hose in a way, but I guess I had to park it somewhere. on the Bellevue. We may be able to catch him somewhere uh, around Norwalk. I doubt it, though. Depends what that 7,010 is going to do here. Now, I would have to guess maybe he has to go all the way back down to that switch down there by uh, Arcade Road and end up on the other track over there. That's kind of my guess. If you heard that they had uh, 19 loads and 16 empties. <laughs> now these are loaded. You can see the springs on the tank car is compressed. The next is not. And uh, you can sometimes tell just the way the cars sound. <laughs> These are loaded, these are, it's interesting, you can tell by the springs. <laughs> getting his train his orders some call it a way bill <laughs> got liquefied petroleum you can see there Okay, uh, standing by for some reason, so don't know exactly why, but Hey, we're back at you again. Well, we got 7,010 on the move here, so anyway, here it comes. I 
I don't know exactly the game plan is, but they... I think what they're going to do is they're going to hook onto these. Oh, I got an idea. I think I know what they're going to do. Possibly push them back. Getting everything hooked up over there, apparently. Anyway, here's the other end over here. Looks like there's somebody standing on the front of the other local back there or something. Anyway, okay. We stand by for a bit. Continuing right on, back. they're going to push that back in over there, I guess. Something like that. Looks like we got an Operation Lifesaver uh, locomotive up here. And 7001. up getting enough room okay, it looks like you're gonna be a standby here so okay Real quick, I'm gonna show you the inner works of the signal though for the gate arm. So, as you can see right there, interesting. Anyway, thought I'd let you know on that. Okay, uh, still trying to get things together here, so be right back. Here's that he is uh, manually moving the gate up what's neat about these crossing arm gates though that uh, say if the gate uh, happens it end up on the front of your hood of your car or something you could actually lift them up by hand at the other end though they go right back up though they're pretty well balanced out how those do work so as you saw that he was pushing down once he got it started up though he's able to push it upward though and everything so very interesting in fact i'd like to find one of them boxes with the motor control and stuff though uh 
to put my uh, project together, uh, my uh, railroad signal project though, it's been put on a hold for quite a while, so uh, just waiting to get the proper materials and stuff though. Anyway, we'll hang around here and wait till this other train though, uh, I believe it was 7002, it's still blocking across it, so okay, be right back. Uh, continuing on, though, uh, okay, I found out the reason why. It just dawned on me, though. Uh, this high rail truck right there is going to get on the crossing right here and take a trip down the tracks that way. So that's the reason why this, the maintainer had uh, lift the gate up because he's going to get on the tracks right here. So. Interesting. It can be a kind of a task to get these things on there. <laughs> the air conditioner fans a little loud in here, so. see what happens with 7002 so all right we'll be right back a little update why this is happening here uh, I guess they shared off a rod at the switch down there at this uh, down near arcade road uh, way down there I get turned around you see the flashing lights on the high rail truck down there and things couple guys are down there gonna give them a hand though I guess they're gonna place the rod but I guess they don't have a clamp so I think somebody's taking one down there so all right uh, it's probably gonna be a long while before this is gonna go so we'll be back when I find out when this is gonna go meanwhile I'll probably head to the house for a short bit and come on back so we'll be back. Hey, we're still here. <laughs> Heartland Center Railway uh, yard out here. Uh, they did move this train back and forth a couple feet. Uh, as I said, they have some kind of a switch issue or something down the line. But they're planning on cutting this thing apart so uh, the traffic can flow through here. So I believe that's what I gather from the radio traffic. As you can see, that boxcar had moved a little bit from the last scene, so, <laughs> or last couple, whatever, though. Anyway, uh, we'll wait and see when they 
separate this thing. Okay, be right back. Guess I was wrong. They're down. They're down at the other end, way down there. Not exactly sure why they're cutting way down there, but they did. <laughs> to wait for the radio traffic. Not much to see though so far. Oh well. We'll find out what as time goes. Thought I was gonna head to the house here, but afraid I'm gonna miss out something. <laughs> right, be right Give you an idea what's going on down there. You can see where they did cut it loose. And you can see the guys down there doing something down low at the end of that car. Kind of over zoomed a little bit. Let it stabilize focus. Anyway, they're down there uh, trying to get things fixed up so they can get this stuff moving. So, okay, we'll be right back. Heck, at you again. Well, that high rail truck is backing up down here, so... There he is right there. They're going to get back off the track here, and they're going to get ready to move this train uh, toward the east of here. Uh, they still got to cut away down there at the other end. I think he's probably going to cut the train loose right there, possibly, so you can see that he is getting out. So we'll see, uh, I think that's probably what he's going to probably do. And I take that back. I was only guessing, so wrong a mic again. Okay. I hear the horn uh, went off there, so... <laughs> way it goes sometimes. I think he's going to unpin the gate here, possibly. Anyway, here, the train is moving now. They're going to get the crossing unblocked here. It's probably been blocked here in the past two and a half hours. Maybe going on to three. Anyway, it is a rolling. get out here anyway even though it's not real hot today <laughs> this dark colored car gets a little hot sitting in there without the AC on so <laughs> boy it goes sometimes I believe they had 7018 hooked up onto this thing. Remember 7, 7018 over at Brighton the other day? Uh, I guess uh, it got moved though in the middle of the night sometime, which I kind of figured so. <laughs> anyway, that's what they're using to tow this thing. Although we didn't see 7018 buried back in the yard.
Okay, there she goes, past 7001 Operation Lifesaver. Okay, this other gentleman is probably gonna unpin the gate here, so. Either he's gonna unpin it or see if it goes up all the way. Yep. The gate went up and probably reset itself. And the traffic is now free to go. <laughs> yeah, the high rail truck though, that's the guy that's uh, doing the gate, had the gate pin, so. Okay, well, we're gonna see what happens later on, so we'll be back a little later. They are talking in reference to the bar. Uh, I'll let you know. I'm not sure right now. Because I've got the point rod there is pretty banged up, so we'll have to see if it fits. You know what I mean? Okay, they're talking in reference to the rod that controls the switch points. Uh, guess they got to uh, wait for one to come from Brewster, which is going to be quite a few hours. This is a long haul down to Brewster. He left bed there uh, a while back. So, all right. Uh, there got to be nothing going on on this line for quite a while. So, this video may carry over in another day. So, I don't know. Uh, maybe late this evening we'll get some traffic going. So, okay. We will be back later on. Okay. Here he comes. Here at Leyland Road, 68 mile marker. into this thing. Not a real long train. There she goes. Passing under the U.S. Route 20 bridge over there, so... I all I care, I want to go, hey, it ain't too bad. Okay, there she goes. Okay, well, we'll see what else happens. Uh, I don't know if they got that switch uh, fixed that quick or not. It hadn't been too long since the last scene. They probably got it pinned uh, into the main line so trains can pass, so probably. Okay, it is we'll be back. Like Kate, come and be her guest at the junction. And that Uncle Joe, he's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction.